Chapter 12 Time to Play We will learn Individual and Team Games Team Spirit National Sport Playing Together Local Games Local Martial Arts Changing Nature of Leisure When we work all the time and have no time to relax, our mind becomes dull. Playing games is both relaxing as well as challenging. It is a good form of exercise that keeps us healthy. Sports persons learn to stay focused and do not indulge in unhealthy habits. Games teach us to interact socially with others. They help us to understand the true meaning of sportsmanship. Games can be both indoor and outdoor. Games like Ludo, Carom, Chess, etc. that are played at home are called indoor games. Games like football, cricket, hockey, basketball, etc. that are played outside in the open grounds, courts and stadiums are called outdoor games. Individual and Team Games The games played all by oneself or in which a player plays alone against another player are called individual games. For example, chess, gymnastics, athletics, skating, golf, billiards, etc. are individual games. Many games are played in groups. Such games are played between two teams. The number of players in each team varies from game to game. Such games are called team games. For example, cricket, football, basketball, etc. are team games. Fact file 11 players make a cricket team. 6 players make a volleyball team. Team spirit The players of a team have a common goal and play in the interest of the team. The performance of each team member is important. The cooperation and coordination amongst all the team members is called team spirit. All the team members must respect each other and work as one team. They should have trust and confidence in each other. Every team has a team leader who takes the decisions for the team. A good team leader should be trustworthy, dedicated and focused. He should be able to stay calm in all circumstances. He should be quick in decision-making and should motivate his team members. National Sport The most popular sport of a country is called its national sport. The national sport of some countries are Hockey, India, Baseball, USA, Sumo Wrestling, Japan, Archery, Bhutan and Football, Brazil Players who represent their country in international sport events like the Asian Games, Olympics, Commonwealth Games, etc. are called national players. Playing together Earlier girls were discouraged to play games. Now girls and boys play many games together. There are separate teams for women and men for all sports played at the national and international level. However, in certain sports like lawn tennis and badminton, both women and men may jointly play as a team. They play under the category called mixed doubles. Fact file Kabaddi is known as Hututu in Maharashtra and Hadudu in Bangladesh. Local games the games played only in certain areas are called the local games of that place. These games reflect the tradition and culture of that particular area. A large variety of local games are played in our country. They have different names and are played in different ways. Kabaddi Kabaddi is a very popular game of our country. This game is played on a leveled ground between two teams of seven players each. It requires skill and power. It develops self-defense and quick action. Coco Coco is played between two teams consisting of 12 members each. One team kneels in a row in the middle of a court with the alternate members in the row facing in opposite direction. Two or three members of the other team are sent into the court. 
the sitting team has to chase and touch the members of the opponent team following the rules. Boat Race Walam Kali In Kerala, the most exciting part of Onam is the snake boat race. About a hundred oarsmen row the huge and graceful boats. Each boat hoists green and scarlet silk umbrellas. These races reflect a high degree of sporting ability. Local Martial Arts Martial art is a form of mock combats or a fight that is not for real. It has been developed into a form of art or beauty by people who practice it. It is a way of defending oneself or others from attack. These involve self-defense, meditation and fitness. Some popular martial arts of India are Thangta Thangta is the traditional martial art form of Manipur. In Manipuri language, Thang means a sword and Ta is a spear. Thangta therefore is a fight using a sword and a spear against one or more opponents. Thangta was used with great success by the Manipuri kings to fight against the British. Kalari Payattu Kalari Payattu is one of the oldest martial art forms in the world. Kalari is the Malayalam word for a special kind of gym where this martial art form is practiced. It is very similar to Karate and Kung Fu, the martial art forms of Japan and China respectively. Chebi Gadga Chebi Gadga is a martial art form of Manipur. The contestants fight a duel in a circle. They carry a sword made up of a stick encased in soft leather and shield made of leather.